I think um, this is a, uh, well, first of all, what happened happened in the past. Now we're looking forward how we can actually move forward well, with the results exactly? of what happened. Well, the resignation of our prime minister uh, had triggered or was triggered by an escalation in rhetoric coming out of Lebanon, a specific uh, faction in Lebanon, uh, that uh, was anti-Arab uh, uh, in general and was quite aggressive against our Arab uh, uh, friends and uh, uh, countries and allies. So basically that, that triggered um, a, a long internal reaction as well from various political parties in Lebanon. And the government has pretty much everyone represented in it from, through a democratic process, basically, and that's democracy in general. The, uh, the challenge was always how to keep Lebanon away from all the conflicts that are happening uh, around the region without interfering in any conflicts and without any conflicts interfering in the stability of Lebanon. A line was crossed at that point in time. The resignation had readjusted the position of the government uh, in order to get everyone to agree that this government has one position and the official position of Lebanon is to remain neutral from all these uh, conflicts. And that was achieved uh, post-resignation. Therefore, he went back on his resignation and now we're back to business as usual and uh, focusing on internal things, Lebanon first. Well